there will be no pretending, there will be no assuming of particular attitudes, there will be no developing of another presentation voice over the next couple of days. So no one's going to leave here saying, good morning, I have just attended the Commanding Presence program, and now my voice and my gestures and my smiling has all been fixed. And of course, people would run away. <laughs> so none of that. The idea is we want, we want more Shirley, and we want more Michael, and we want more Deb and Charles. So it's about manifesting yourself authentically and more comfortably. You're going to be having a chance to explore your own skill sets, your, discover more of your own strengths, and explore the dynamics of verbal communication in a very concentrated and focused way, which is not something that's available in, in traditional training for for the traditional professions. And there, are, there are no law schools that I'm aware of in North America or Europe who provide this particular type of workshop. Many splendid communication workshops in the professions. This is just a wee bit different. I like to think it's important because ultimately, ultimately your career success at this stage in your career uh, more and more comes down to your ability to communicate your knowledge and your skill and your expertise. So for many people at a sort of a midpoint in their careers, they are valued more and more for what they know rather than for what they do. And in that transition to a leadership role, it becomes essential to be able to utilize verbal communication in meetings or when you're mentoring or supervising and so on. People who are generally introverts in the Myers-Briggs world, and that would probably be about 60% of the people in this room, I would think, prefer to reflect on things in silence and are much more comfortable in a reading and writing environment. Most lawyers and most accountants tend to be Introverts, these professions attract intellectually curious people who are very, very hardworking, very conscientious, and prefer to write and reflect rather than speak in order to develop their ideas. So, introverts make really great presenters, and most of my clients are introverts because they're not really worried about ego. They don't want to be a superstar speaker. They just want to bring their speaking skills up to the same level as their writing skills. So if you fall into that category, you have come to the right place. Of course, I work with extroverts. I, I've been working with CBC for the past 12 years, and I did spend 20 years as a theater director and acting coach. So I'm pretty comfortable with a range of personality types.